Free rides forever. Milwaukee city leaders now say they may never charge a fare to ride the hop. But that doesn't mean that you won't pay for it. Fox 6 investigator Brian Polson shows you how your next drive downtown could help plug a funding gap for the streetcar. Urban living has its perks, but for Holly Dine, this modern electric train has not been one of them. It takes longer for me to just wait for it and try to get on it than it does for me just to walk certain places. She says that might be different if the city extended the tracks closer to her apartment in West Town, especially. It's also free, it can't be free. When you consider the price. Oh, it's free. It's free. It's free. To be able to ride around, you know, downtown on, on free transit is great. Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson says expanding the streetcar is vital to keeping the city competitive. Because young professionals want to have these sort of amenities because the business community wants to have these sort of amenities to attract that, that sort of young talent. But nearly five years after it first opened for passenger service, demand for the streetcar continues to lag. I've never rode it. You never rode it? I never it. got on it. In April, the hop averaged fewer than 1,300 riders per day, or roughly five passengers for every mile, on a mass transit system that doesn't even charge a fare. People simply are not riding the hop, even when it's free. But Mike Nichols, president of a free market research firm called the Badger Institute, says you're still paying for it. It's just not a wise use of taxpayer dollars. The existing two-mile loop costs nearly $5 million a year to operate. And this year, the city has cobbled together enough funding from advertising and federal grants to offset 70% of the cost. But that still leaves a $1.4 million deficit. So that gap, you have to pay for that somehow. To plug the gap, the city wants visitors to plug more parking meters. This will result in significant increase in revenue. In February, the Department of Public Works unveiled a plan to expand the hours for metered parking over a wide swath of downtown, including the Deer District, Theater District, Yankee Hill, and the Third Ward. Instead of paying to park until 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, the plan approved by the Common Council in March will require you to plug the meters until 9 p.m., Saturdays too, a change that could raise hundreds of thousands of dollars in additional revenue. It might be upwards of a million dollars a year. Almost enough to offset this year's streetcar funding gap. So you're taking the parking fund and you're using it to fund the streetcar. Last fall, Milwaukee Alderman Scott Spiker tried a different approach. Here's a way to get a million. By proposing a cut in the streetcar budget. I floated a, a rough version of this idea when when uh, it was the height of COVID and, and nobody was riding. Records obtained by the Fox 6 investigators show Spiker's proposal to slash the streetcar budget by 20% sent public works employees scrambling as they prepared talking points for the commissioner to try and kill the plan. It could affect um, future grants and applying for extensions on the streetcar or even possibly affect the current uh, FTA grants that we have already accepted. The talking points worked. Amendment 39 has failed. But when it comes to eliminating the streetcar deficit, there's something else the city has yet to do. Could we put in fare boxes and charge um, the people who are riding it money? DPW Commissioner Jarrell Krushke said charging a fare to ride would reduce ridership even further. Just because if we want to charge a citizen, it doesn't mean that we're going to reap all the rewards. But they couldn't collect a fare right now, even if they wanted to. These hop streetcars are now five years old, and yet there are still no fare boxes on board. And if there were, the city would have to hire people to maintain them and to enforce passengers paying those fares. In other words, it costs money. To collect it. There's a lot of infrastructure needed to install those, maintain those, um, more personnel. And even if they did, Krushke says, it's highly unlikely a fair would close the $1.4 million funding gap. Unless we went and charged everyone $100 to ride the streetcar, which is not acceptable for public transportation. And that raises a fundamental question. Could the streetcar be free forever? Do you think it's possible the hop could be fair free indefinitely? Yes. When I asked Mayor Johnson, he didn't say yes. Do you envision the streetcar remaining free? Uh, those are conversations we have to continue to have. But he didn't say no. Are those discussions taking place? Absolutely, yeah. So everything's on the table. City leaders say they hope to keep funding the hop through federal grants and corporate advertising, 
but that will be even harder next year when COVID relief funds dry up. How can we possibly justify a free hop forever and ever and ever? However they do it, one thing is clear. There's no such thing as a free ride. Downtown street parking remains free after 6 p.m. For now, while the Common Council approved the extended meter hours back in March, DPW tells me they don't plan to implement them until the end of the year. Brian Polson, Fox 6 Investigators.